stop, stop, stop. Don't eat that. Put that down. Put that down. Because they're sensitive to that food. <laughs> As we age, our bodies change a little bit. I'll never forget when I was in my, my younger years, you know, teens, 20s, I was able to eat anything and nothing bothered my stomach. It was like a rock. I ate it, <laughs> came right out, and that was the end of that. But as you start getting older, you start to develop food sensitivities and you start to develop kind of like certain foods just don't agree with you. Is this a myth? Is this true? What should we do? So stop eating that and I'm going to teach you about food sensitivity today. So I I have preached this so many times before. Calories in, calories out, that's how you lose body fat. You can eat anything. As long as you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna lose body fat. That is true. However, certain people's bodies agree with certain foods. So when certain people tell me, hey Anthony, my stomach bothers me when I have chicken. I don't know, I'm just throwing something out there. My stomach bothers me when I have chicken. So that person has a sensitivity to chicken. So they could still lose weight if they eat the chicken, but it's uncomfortable. Like for me, example, perfect example, bodybuilders, long, so many years, the staple food is a sweet potato. That is the staple food of bodybuilders. You have to have sweet potatoes if you want to get in good shape. For me, every single time for years, even when I was a teenager, whenever I have a sweet potato, I feel bloated. I don't feel tight. Whenever I eat it, I just don't feel like my body utilizes that food correctly. I feel bloated. I feel like my stomach distends. I have a food sen sensitivity to sweet potatoes. When I take the sweet potatoes out and I replace it with a different food, I'm good. So food sensitivity is actually a thing and it's very individualized based on the person, but you need to be able to experiment with your body and test which foods work, which ones don't for you. That's the cool part about this and that's what makes fitness so hard is because there's so many different ways to skin a cat. So there's a difference between food sensitivity and, oh, I gain weight when I eat this food, <laughs> right? So there's a big difference. As long as you have the basis, basics in line, calories in, calories out, and you start to notice how you feel when you eat certain foods, then that's a food sensitivity. So what I would recommend doing, taking that food out and slowly edit back. Well, first take it out and see what happens. Do you still feel bloated when you eat the same amount of carbs? So I'll use myself as an example again. So in my experience, whenever I have sweet potatoes, I feel this way. So if I have 200 grams of carbs a day, so see that's a number. I have 50 grams of carbs from sweet potatoes. I feel bloated. I just don't feel right. I feel bloated. I feel like my stomach hurts a little bit. So I take that sweet potato out, that 50 grams of sweet potato out, 50 grams worth of carbs of sweet potato out, and I replace it with 50 grams of bread. My calories are equated, everything's the same. I eat that, I feel fine. I don't feel bloated, the scale is not up, it doesn't spike up. Okay, so I took it out. Now what I'll do is I'll add half that amount back in and see if I feel the same way. All right, 25 grams of carbs from sweet potatoes back in. Do I still feel the same way? Sometimes you have the, a food sensitivity, but sometimes it's the amounts. Too much of it may be the problem also. I'm very sensitive to milk. I'm not lactose intolerant, but my stomach is very sensitive when it comes to milk. But if I have a certain amount of milk, it doesn't bother me. Anything for me personally, anything over 12 ounces of milk bothers my stomach really badly. But if I have anything less than that, it doesn't really bother me. I don't really notice it. So again, it's dose dependent. And as the saying goes, the devil's in the dose. Tylenol can cure a headache or it can kill you but the devil is in the dose. So it's the same thing when it comes to certain foods. Maybe you're just having too much of that food. Oddly enough, uh, milk bothers my stomach a lot. Ice cream, I'm fine with. I can have ice cream, I can have slow churned ice cream, Greek yogurt, that stuff doesn't bother me whatsoever, but a glass of milk, anything more than 12 ounces, kills me. So you need to look at your body like a food, um, like an experiment, and test certain foods that work better for you. Once you find those foods that you personally feel good with, fit them into your total macros for the day and just ride that out as long as you can. Experiment putting foods back in, but keep those as kind of like the staple foods. So for me, egg whites, really good food. My body digests them well. I have no issues with that. Chicken, good with. Steak, basically all protein for me I'm okay with. Pork bothers my stomach a little bit, but it's probably because I don't have it enough. But 
I keep those as staples. Like I said, and when it comes to my carbohydrates, bread I'm fine with, oatmeal I'm fine. Oatmeal I'm really good with. I actually feel really, really strong with oatmeal. Um, pastas, all that stuff I'm actually good with. doesn't bother my stomach. Potatoes bother me. So I don't have potatoes and I have more of the other things. And if I want potatoes, I have them. I could still fit them in, but I just try to stay away from it because it just bothers me when I have them. And you don't want to feel uncomfortable. So those are my staple foods and I just mix and match and have those things every day. And again, if I am out and there's potatoes on the menu, I'll get a potato if I want a potato. It's not like I never eat those foods again, but I know that when I eat them, all right, my weight's probably gonna be up the next day, my stomach's probably gonna feel a little, you know, bother me and be bloated and whatever. But if I want it and I'm in the atmosphere and it's there, I'm gonna have it. It says that simple. So that's the cool part about food sensitivity and knowing your body. If it kills you, don't eat it, don't force it. It's so funny, I used to work with physical therapists for a long time, and one of the things that people always used to say was, it hurts when I do this. Like they would do a movement, it's like it really hurts when I do this. And the therapist used to just look at them and say, well then don't do that. <laughs> so it's the same thing, if you eat something and it really bothers your stomach, don't eat it, it's fine. There's no such thing as magical food. And this is the beautiful part about fitness and nutrition is that it's so individualized and the rules are pretty much black and white. Calories in, calories out. If you're consuming less, you're gonna burn body fat. If you're consuming more, you're gonna gain weight. So it doesn't matter how you sprinkle it in as long as you're in a calorie deficit. So hopefully that helps you. If you're having food sensitivity issues, try what I said, experiment with certain foods, take things out, put them back in, put them, change the amounts, see where you're at with that, and hopefully that helps you. If you're interested in picking up any one of our products, just click that link below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.